Happy beautiful Friday. I hope you all are having an amazing Friday. Um, you know what? It is not that cool out here. Okay, there's a little fly right here for me to have this cardigan on. But I am going to the movies and my hair was not done. I didn't have anything to wear. So I started throwing some things together. And I think I did pretty good for a real chill look for my hair to be not done. Um, and to not look like a bum. I have on some jeans, some sandals, a little carnigan, a little old lady carnigan, and nice little lip. I didn't even realize when I was putting my lip on that it matches my toes. Not that that's something that has to happen. Just thought it was cute. <laughs> um, I don't even think you all can see me. <sighs> this is has this has to be a new go-to style for me because. I don't know about any of my other naturals. Look at this. I don't know lights like it's really going to make a difference. It doesn't. Um, I don't know about any of my other naturals. But, honey, when this hair is not done, this turban comes on. And it gets real old real quick. I'm going to put my seatbelt on real quick. Because I always say I'm going to do it and I don't. Okay. I'm back. Um, yes. So, I'm a little glossy because I'm sweating rushing to get ready i had a work event this evening and one of my friends and i who had plans last week um moved our plans to this weekend so we're about to go to the movies um we're gonna go with a few of her church friends from her church um she has visited our church before or my church let me say that um and so now we um kept in touch and so now I'm going to meet some of her friends from her church. So this is going to be really nice. Um, praying for it to be a good time. Good fellowship. We're going to go see, um, I think it's called A Birth of a Nation. Please don't judge me. I am terrible with movie names. And I think it's really because I don't watch that much TV. So in order for me to know about movies that's out, no lie, it's probably from a YouTube commercial. <laughs> and that's because I'm playing music. And if it catches my eye within the first, like, three seconds, I'll watch it through. If not, I'm hitting it, like, skip ad. Skip ad. Um, so we're going to go see Birth of a Nation to support our black directors. I believe it was directed by Nate Parker, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then there's another movie called Queen of Something. Once again, please don't judge me. We're probably going to try to see that. I don't know if it's this weekend or next week. Um... So we're going to go to OSU's Theater, where it's super cheap to get a ticket. You can introduce yourself. I'm Tatney. I'm Akeisha. And they wanted me to ask some specific questions. So we're just going to ask two questions. The first one is, how did you enjoy the movie? Or did you enjoy the movie? I did enjoy the movie. Um, Any thoughts about the movie? I think it was just really emotional for me. Um, I mean, That's we always emotional. see it all the time. And all the movies that we do see are all kind of similar. The slave movie. The, sla the slavery yeah, no. type of movies. But I think for me, every time I see it, it just reiterates how much we have, where we've come from, and how much more we have to go overall. Okay. That was very eloquent. It was. It was well and put now together. I have to, now I have to follow this <laughs> off. <laughs> you can just piggyback or... No, but I, I do agree. Um, I think that it was, one, it was a great movie. I would go see it again. But those movies definitely make me feel like very emotional. I cry. I'm sure I probably have like tears stains on my face We now. all do. We all yeah. do. Um, and I agree that it reminds me of like where we've been and how far we have to go. But it also, I, sometimes I just can't grasp how you can hate somebody or people so mm -hmm. much just off of skin color yeah. or just because someone is different from you. So even 
taking that as like a life lesson it just reminds me I guess even I mean re- reminding you to be loving but not not in the way that that that's okay but just kind of taking it to five to five it's really it makes me sad yeah yeah is there anything you would change about the movie any critique like any negative critique about it um I think just how some of the movies end like they try to just like abruptly end there's if we could see more positive endings, like even even though even we know encouragement, but would that be falsifying where we are today? No, no see, it, because we, we have, have we police have, brutality right we now. We have police brutality. Like it slip. could end in it could end and be in a, in a way of this was this Where's was like, motivation. Like and it could let end me and just, be like um. So give you a little history. Like if say we didn't know Nat Turner died, like so Nat died, blah 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 blah. But we still have a long way to go. Like it can end with something motivation, just like how I had the words on the screen. It could always end with something to motivate you to be yeah. like, we've come a long way, but we still have a really long way to go. Just like, where could we go next? Or like, where his family is? Or so, so, any, just any different. I feel like I left angry instead of like. Mm. Is that not motivating though? For some, for, people, some people, for some people, yes. For me, I definitely like anger just makes me because of the what, what I work in every day. I'm just like, I have to be around others all the time. So even though I'm angry, I still have to like fight and push forward. But for people that aren't surrounded by that. Is more so like I'm gonna be mad and I'm gonna hate you and I'm gonna hate you and I'm gonna hate you and I'm gonna hate you. I'm gonna hate you. I agree. So. And I anger is motivating me, but everybody doesn't turn anger into good. Yeah, right. people really get angry and then yeah. hate. And hate, that hate, hate. we can't fight hate with hate. That don't. That is not gonna change yeah. it. Not to right. say that we can't fight. And I think the, during fighting, the movie but. that was crazy too because it was like we were fighting, not hate with hate, but like how he really killed people. And I'm like, in my mind, I started thinking like we're. Nate Parker was coming from as the actor right. did he want to show this part of like the revolution to where it was like no we fought back we killed people too yeah. instead of how everyone's just talking about protesting you know MLK like no like is this a point where he feels mm-hmm. like we need to get to a different point in history see, where we're, and I started thinking like where is he coming from like where was Nate so Parker coming that, from and, I'm saying, and to piggyback on that that's why I think the anger thing ending it on anger is not always good because we're already angry yeah, and not say it's me and you, but like generally like, speaking, the, the race as is people, already angry. We're yeah. already very angry about police brutality, but clearly right. we are not angry enough to do anything. So is or okay? I'm not saying I mean that's a little harsh. No, that's real though. We are clearly not angry enough to do anything. I was like, wait, let me reset. Nope, I'm gonna stick yeah. with that. But my point being, so is leaving that movie angry going to change anything? It's a it question. I don't know the answer. Yeah, and I'm like, but, will the person but see I, that movie and be like, I should pick up something and start like killing a bunch of people? Right. You know what I mean? And so, I, but I just say it to say that sometimes ending on anger isn't always good because it's like we didn't need more anger. Right. right. And I say that's a bad thing because it's not really a critique, but it's just like kind of what Tommy said. You left angry, but if that anger isn't going to be used for something good, it wasn't no point. We had enough anger. I'm already. I was already mad for. Right. Right. You know no, what I mean? You come in. You do come in. You do come in a little riled up. Like, like, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Another, <laughs> another sequel. Another. Okay. So, quick spoiler alert. You might want pause right here. But like. Oh damn. No. No. <laughs> you can't spoil anything. No, I do. I see that. Okay. But I said I wouldn't in the beginning of the vlog. Okay. So this is the one part that I think could have been motivational. The little part where they wrote for 48 hours. They were That's afraid. what I think they should have written more. But like, what did that not speak to you? That yeah. in yeah. a matter of killing just sixty people, they got the whole oh, county. Man. Like that was motivated. motivational. Not to be okay. angry, but just to show like, although we lost people, although we didn't, we had, we had in that yeah. moment of two days of just killing, right. how we could come together as and a scare people. them. Yeah, I was and watching you know a Doctor Umar um, thing oh, on the I breakfast on the Doctor Umar. Oh, you guys haven't seen that? I've seen it. He was talking about like schools and all that everything. So they had asked a question about why we like we don't have any leaders right now in the community, mm. and people were um, talking about like uh, Charlemagne was talking about well, people nowadays are people we don't want to get together. Like it's so many people that don't want to even listen to each other. Like That's it's true. hard for people to get and together. So how quickly they can do that? Kind of like in the movie, and I'm not gonna. But, but <laughs> it's okay. Of, it, another spoiler alert. <laughs> but just like the, the, I don't know his name, but the the house slave. How so? so I, Isaiah. 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 <laughs> so a lot of times people don't want to get together because we don't want to mess it up. Us. So it's like yeah, exactly. I know that like right now as a people we struggling, but like I got this nice car That's and this exactly. house and a good job mm-hmm. and my kids doing good. So like why not the car special? I like exactly. I care, but I don't care enough that I'm willing to risk. My nice car, because it my hasn't house, hit your home. My job, yeah, because it hasn't hit your right. home. So Imagine like, if I we lost some of our brothers, people, yeah. but I, I like 
and you know, if y'all want to protest, if y'all want to march, I can do that. But you want to kill people? No, because I everything I got my, is yep. more. And it's selfish. It's very selfish because sometimes yes. you have to think outside of yourself. Yeah. And, it, and it's a big step. People can't handle it, but you yeah. need to sometimes think outside of yourself yeah. for the race. So sometimes that means you lose. Yeah. You might lose your house it's, or your car. That was one thing that they had mentioned in that interview was that while slavery, everyone got together, and even during civil rights, is because we really had nothing. Mm-hmm. Right. right, there weren't so many people that had we come up. So right now, right now. now we have people that are upper echelon, and you have people. So it's like it's a huge divide. Where in other times, everybody legit was at the same. Level. Yeah, right. no one had anything. So right. what do we right. have to lose? Also, I want to say because I just remember too mm-hmm. another point that I thought could have been or was motivational, but you had to catch it was spoiler alert with the the young dude, the how boy. the little boy, and how at the end he was, he was um, the one leading who, a rebellion. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 So that was, but you had to, I feel like But wait, she feels it. like he snitched. He did? Awesome. No, he did Okay, snitch. okay. Because okay. at he first I was like, snitch, do you think he snitched or did they catch him? Because I oh, missed that. Oh, no. Okay, well, so you know what? I think he snitched. Or maybe they caught him. Because that was I like. I honestly thought he snitched. But how did they okay, so catch no, him in front of all of them people? But maybe, here's the thing. Maybe, maybe he, he wandered off. Maybe they did catch him. It wasn't clear. I don't think, even if he snitched, I thought seeing Nat getting hung is what motivated, motivated him, him like, to then lead yeah. a rebellion. So yeah. whether he snitched or got caught, I think that's what motivated yeah. him. But what do stuff, but people don't do stuff with them. If that makes sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they'll like they'll go to a march too. Yeah. Right. But then they'll also go to city council, and people some people will attend the march, but, but they, they won't go, go to go city, city council. council. And I'm not saying you have to do that, but you can't sit here and say like and I think nothing that's else the is happening. Gap, though. Yeah. Because you and have some people who don't see the point of going to those. But and they see, don't know why I think, yeah. Some of it is that, but I think some of it is complacency to an yeah. extent. Because sometimes, like, so a black man gets shot tonight. Tomorrow we mad. The next day, I'm still good. Right. I'm really good. I mean, I'm still kind of mad, but I got. But I'm used to it. It becomes so desensitized yeah. Yeah. that it's like, people are just like, um, I don't know how so to do it. So that's why I think like, I'm just numb to all this stuff happening. That's black. And I'm just like. But that's not. And that's that's like, a that's problem. problem. So that's just a problem. For, the sake of this conversation and the movie and the movie and, like I'm going to ask you all and you don't have to know but what are you going to do oh, what's I a personal it. goal so, that you can really meet because sometimes I know I know when I leave out movies like this I'm like I'm going to I'm going to do my research and I'm going to and it is short lived it is a short lived feeling until we forget the context of the movie so tonight and tomorrow I'm going to be mad right I'm gonna be, <laughs> it's so fresh that I'm going to call everybody and I'm going to be crying and I'm going to go it's fresh right yeah. but then Monday Wait, will come now. Monday Go to the you gym, gonna work, have a long uh-huh, day. Uh-huh. Forgot about uh-huh. this weekend. Yeah. So to say I'm gonna be out here doing all this research and all that's a lie. That's a short term fill in the goal. Sure. But what is something you really are gonna do, even if you haven't already? Whether it's what are you gonna do? Because so, I don't want us to sit in this uh, garage yeah. and be talking a good talk of faith. Oh no, for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know? And so I don't know, like a lot of people within my family, like we love kids and so for me I feel like everyone has different passions everywhere Mm -hmm. for me it's women and it's children so for me teaching the next generation where we have been and like to get out of that like change your mindset to not think that oh just going to college is just enough just because your mom and your dad didn't go do something else do something like we have to do have greater strides Mm -hmm. than just like just going to college it's like no go to college get your PhD do this do Beyond what I've done, beyond what change, age, yes. inspire some change. Yes. Like, okay. Beyond just getting a degree. On but, top of that, I'm an HBCU fan, so hey now, go to hey our HBCU. HBCU, 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 you gonna learn your history? Let's be Ohio State. Oh yeah, what's your name? We didn't do the HBCU, but we love you. What's up, Ohio State? Ohio State, we didn't know this was happening. You got the OSU College going. You got it. You got it. Okay, everybody, we got my hair. Go my shoes. It's okay. We love the HBCU. Okay, we know we had this, but I don't know why you. University, but we woke. Support black woke. businesses. Yes. But okay. So, and then, said, yeah. so I love that question, honestly, because I asked people. So I was having a conversation the other day. One of my friends has moved out of town. Um, and I had this conversation with my I was like, so what are you going to do? So I love the question because so many people talk about stuff, but you're not going to do nothing. And it's not in the media, but you got to do something. Yeah. You can't just talk about it. We're good talkers. Good talkers. Look, bad, and I tell people, bad doers. <laughs> indirectly or directly. So what I indirectly do is it doesn't, it, and I say indirectly, is in, it's not, I'm not necessarily going to march. Okay. But what I do is with kids. So I have youth that I mentor. Okay. Um, specifically girls. All of, I have like five girls. They're all 16 or 17. Okay. And then I'm about to, I actually just applied today for a sixth grader. Yes. With a, Get them out of here. But, and I bring that up, like, that's how I impact the community today. Like, I'm impacting the next generation yes. and encouraging them to do yes. that. 
and to further impact the next generation. Like that's a big deal because that them, is real. That's a big deal. Like our babies are important. Yeah. Like and people important. neglect them and people like because they don't have they don't have the parents that are are about this. So many like I feel like they're so far removed. Yeah, they're so far removed from our parents that struggle. Yeah, and and it wasn't that long ago. No, no, people forget. Was, no, it wasn't that long ago. People like, trying to say, people trying to say, oh, that's so far. Like, goodbye. With no. the change of presidency and a couple other things, maybe it will be right, right here. Right back. It will be right we here. We were just talking about this up there. I'm like, I'm actually scared to see what it's going to look like. I don't think we'll ever get to that financial place where slavery yeah. was. I'm like, but the mental capacity the mentality. and how things were. Yeah, of, that's then true. I'm like, it scares me to think like my kids' kids and their kids, like, what will it look like? What yeah. will their minds be? And if you don't plant that seed early, it's quick for you to be like, I'm, I ain't gonna do nothing but just live this regular life. Yeah, yeah, and be comfortable and be, and and be, be fine with so, it. Be fine so, with it. We are so comfortable; it's sickening. Like it's legit yeah. sickening. You can't do anything if you're just comfortable. You can't change anything in your life. And I say that for me too. Like I get in moments where I'm like I'm comfortable, I'm like complacent. It's not a good place to be. Like no. you can't. Nothing comes mm-hmm. from it. But There's just no how, growth. Yeah. It's nothing a privileged place. Changes. Yeah. It is a privileged place. So even to say like you and I both we do the kids thing yeah. and then you have your women. But even that, I'm challenging us. So how you just said you and go home and do some research. I'm challenging us to do something to directly yeah. impact. Right. I like that. Right. Because I know you have to know what you're good at. So everybody ain't. Everybody don't need to be going oh, to. Yeah, that's the true. Because I'm an educator, so I'm not going to the lawmaking area. Me either. I'll support you, like, but I can't. I don't know. I don't know about right. That's just saying you lane say, and using your purpose. Okay. Right. So absolutely, I will say, just because we can't, everybody can't do everything. God has given us all different gifts for that's a true. reason. That's true. So I will say that. But even if it's just us going home and researching and figuring out, because some, you know what? Honestly, would solve a lot of the problems if people could have constructive yeah. conversation, yeah. and that means black and white people. And, yeah. But I, and I say that with the preface that. They have to be open and willing to receive For information. Sure. So there's, there's sure. definitely other things that go into yeah. it. But sometimes it just takes sitting down with your coworker that, that y'all be going to lunch and be like, How, how do you feel? Yeah. So okay. How you feel about this? So, so Julie. Mm-hmm. So how do you feel? Like, and, how do you feel about and, this? And tell me, tell me how you feel. It's sometimes about making people uncomfortable. Oh, and it's, it's all about making people uncomfortable. And what I will say, too, for us, that means we can't get mad. And we have to make sure we're not coming in an attack mode. Yeah. And sometimes we do. Like, sometimes they be like, oh, well, I don't, I don't really think, I think they, like. And sometimes they don't have an opinion, though. And honestly, it's like, they might not have an opinion because they have never had anybody ask a question. They've never had to deal with any type of racism. So we have to go in more sure. We have to be open. And we're the ones that already have anger. And I think, too, sometimes you have to realize you can leave a conversation without them. They don't have to get it, but sometimes you left the seed. Just plant a seed. Yeah. You plant a seed, like she that. plant a seed, that's I plant a seed. Yeah. That that's might be it. Sometimes you leave like and it's like, right um, that's okay. That was looking good though. That was a paper? Pause. You, <laughs> got, you can ride slow when you find. Go ahead and treat that here and show beautiful <laughs> black cells. Is he going to uh, reverse? <laughs> <laughs> Why are we saying reverse at the same time? Oh. But reverse like, Oh, I oh, see them right. black like, oh my God. If he backs all the way, if he reverses all the way. Oh, okay. He going out the other way. I was I say Lord, Some <laughs> truck that's said, real yeah, fine. Yeah. We thought they was coming back. <laughs> real fine. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap this video up because we're gonna be going forever. Gonna I just wanna say life. thank you to these beautiful black queens who did not want to originally speak, but look at all this wealth of knowledge that? that they have. Where your we face at? Where your face at? Both educated, both well spoken, and both so open to just planting seeds and <laughs>